Good morning, friends and family. I hope everybody's doing great today. It's been quite a night. Yesterday was a very busy day. I come on here right now because I want to share with you my acceptance speech. Acceptance of another term with our President Barack Obama. I know, I was very surprised, and yet not at all surprised, that he won and now has a second term in the presidency of the United States of America. It doesn't matter who we voted for, as the vote is now done. It's finished. The tally has been counted, and the results are in. There's no turning back. That was yesterday. Yesterday's now history. We must rejoice in one fact. And it's very important, my friends, that you take my words serious. You know, I've spoken many times in my videos about the positive and negative energy and how it controls our world. And it does. It most certainly does. In the weeks and months prior to the election, we focused so much on the election. We spoke negative information about the people running for office. We focused on negative at every corner. Einstein, I'm sure, would be smiling because we got exactly what we focused on. It's the truth. I accept the fact that Barack Hussein Obama is going to be president for a second term. I mean, what choice do I have anyway? Now, what am I going to do? Well, for starters, I'm going to concentrate on the people, my family, all people of the world, one family. It is time for us to quit speaking negative and thinking negative into our existence. It's time for us to join hands and make the best of it. That is what we do best. We must make the best of it. We must work together to overcome the obstacles, the pits, the downfalls, the mud holes, the logs in the road, in this path that has been chosen. Yes, the American people voted. Yes, the decision is in. And yes, Barack Obama is President of the United States of America again. Shall we focus on what, what may happen Shall we focus on what he might do and might not do? Or should we focus on what we are going to do? It's time for us to work together. If you don't want to eat GMO foods, plant gardens. Do community gardens together. If we do not like nuclear power. Quit being a big consumer of nuclear power. Find alternatives. Use the wind-up clocks or those that run by battery. Do we really need to consume so much energy? 
be the answer to the problem. We need to make our homes positive. We need to speak good to one another, work together, focus on the children, focus on our neighbors and their needs. A good example is Sandy. She come up that East Coast with a vengeance. Millions of people are suffering her wrath. Their homes destroyed. They're without food and water and shelter. Warm clothing, blankets. FEMA ran around. Actually run out of water, I heard or read. The people didn't. People joined together. They've been bringing in truckloads and carloads, trunks full of supplies for those in need. Our brothers and sisters that joined in the Occupy Wall Street movement have set up kitchens. They're providing food. They're providing all kinds of, of supplies for those without. They've exceeded what FEMA was capable of doing. The people exceeded. Does that surprise us? No. You see, my friends, my family, the people I love so much, we are power. We are. We can make it through anything. We really can by working together. Right now is the time that we must focus on the truth that our energy that we create that comes from our own being must change to positive energy. Mother Earth needs us desperately. The trees need us, the flowers need us, the bees need us. I've had two dreams in a row that had symbolism in them that was identical. The only difference in the two dreams was the vehicle that I was in. The first vehicle was a uh, van. The second vehicle was a pickup, a 1950 or 56 Chevy pickup. The road was potholes and mud and rocks. On the side of the road was forest. In the first dream there was no snow. In the second dream there was snow. And there's much more to the dream. The vehicle was just swaying in the mud trying to make it up this hill. And I could see up ahead that there was pavement and that there was a big meadow. And in the meadow there were flowers, beautiful, beautiful flowers. I'm not sure what the dream was trying to tell me, or the dreams I should say, because there's two in a row. It takes me a while to think about the dreams and to put the pieces together. I write them down. But the one thing that I do feel strongly about the dream is though the road is bad and torn up, up ahead there is good. The one thing that really stood out in the dream was that there were so many people people I didn't even know, I didn't recognize. But they were all helping to get these vehicles up the hill. To me, that speaks volumes. We can change the way our world is functioning. We are 
the chain of change. Speak good things. Think good things. Don't focus on, oh my God, how did this happen? Things are changing. Our world is changing. Our earth is changing. The universe is changing. The sun is changing. Obviously, the moon is changing. This is normal. This is all part of a cycle. And it's time for us to change. It's time for us to understand what works and what doesn't. History has not worked. The things that have taken place, the things that have been done in history did not work. We know what's ahead. We know that we can make things better. You and I, we can make the change. And it's going to be great. It's going to take some work. We have to remind each other. We have to work together. We have to speak good things. Catch Catch Obama with his bridges down on that throne, sitting on the toilet. Everybody does, you know. And send good thoughts to him. Good vibrations. Speak it out loud. Help him to understand the value of the American people and the world's people because the American people and the world's people are all one people. We are brothers and sisters. This is our earth, our world. It's going to be rough for a while. It really is. I see it. And I'm sure you do too. But we're in this together. And you know, there's nothing worse than falling down by yourself. It's nice to have someone there that can reach out with their hand and help you up. Let's focus on our own homes, our cities, our towns, our states, our countries, and our world. And we can do this together. I so appreciate every one of you. And I love you very much. And this is my acceptance speech. I accept Barack Hussein Obama as President of the United States of America. And I accept all my brothers and sisters in the world. I hope that you understand that this is done with love. I love you all. And I hope that you do an acceptance speech. Perhaps you have some ideas that will help us to get through this, because this is what we do. The people stand together, and we get through things. We, we're getting through Sandy. People are being taken care of by people. People helping people. And we can make our world a better place, you and I. It begins right here. It begins with me. And it begins with you. Don't think negative thoughts. Don't speak negative thoughts. Don't type negative thoughts. Let's root each other on. And let's get some positive energy flowing madly around our world. Big hugs, much love, and I'll catch you guys later.